Welcome. In this video, we'll show you the differences in Vectric version 11 and how that has impacted the CabinetSense gadgets. In Vectric 11, they have changed the way that toolpaths are processed, and that means that the uh, Apply Toolpath gadget no longer works. And so we're going to show you the alternate way of processing your jobs. So after you've loaded the parts into Vectric, the first thing we're going to do is do our toolpath checker, which brings in our toolpaths. And here I have a general toolpath with all of the tools that I need. So this part hasn't changed. This is where it now starts to be different. The first thing we're going to do is recalculate all the toolpaths. And on the right, where you're looking at the toolpaths, you're now seeing the check marks against the toolpaths that are actually required for this job. So the first thing I'm going to do, delete all invisible, which just leaves us with the three. I'm now going to save these as a template and I'll just put it back into the same place and I'm going to call it job and I could have the job number or whatever, but I'll just simply call it job. Okay. Now delete them all. And now we're going to go back and we are going to optimize. Oops, nesting. There we go. So new in, in version 11, you can see that you've, you're seeing the sheets uh, in your toolpaths. First thing we need to do is select all sheets and now open the template. And I'm going to open up the one I just saved called job. And Vectric is going to apply it to all of the sheets in, in this job. Okay, and so now we have sheet one, which has nothing, sheet two, and sheet three. If we zoom in, sheet three is this one, sheet two is here. Okay, it is now optimized it. It's now done the toolpathing by sheet, and the last thing we need to do is save our toolpath. Again, new in Vectric, uh, version 11 that is, you can now have a machine, so you can have several machines. Each machine could be tied to a post processor with different uh, processing arrangements. So I've chosen Mach 2 3 with an autom uh, with a automatic tool changer. And so I'm going to say visible tool paths and multiple files, but group where possible. So this is the one that works for me. You'll have to figure out which one works best for you. Click save tool paths. And once again, I'm going to save my job into the, the same place. So let's save it. And so I'm going to navigate to where I saved those files. It was on the desktop. It was in the tool strategies version 11. And here are your sheets, sheet two and sheet three. Now Vectric has named them based on I believe the first tool path in each sheet. Uh, really, I mean, we'd rather have it just called sheet two, so it would be something like that. Etc. Um, but now these are your G code for sheet two and sheet three. Send them to your router and off you go. That's it.